agricultural technologies in the Harappan civilization. While the prevalence of agriculture is indicated by finds of grain, it is more difficult to reconstruct actual agricultural practices. What it means is that grains have been found. This indicates that agriculture was prevalent. Agriculture was done at that time. But it is difficult to reconstruct the actual agricultural practices. How exactly did agriculture take place? Were seeds broadcast or scattered on ploughed lands? What it means is that the first the farmer ploughed the land and when furrows were created, then they scattered. They took the seeds in their hands and they threw them in a flashing moment and that is known as broadcasting. Representation on seals and terracotta sculptures indicate that the bull was known. Here is the given the picture of a terracotta bull. So this indicates that the bull was known to the Harappan people. At the same time, it is also assumed that ex archaeologists extrapolate or they assume that this oxen was used for plowing. Moreover, terracotta models of plow have been found at sites in Cholistan and at Banavali in Haryana. So now we have the oxen, the terracotta image of the bull and the terracotta model of the plow has been found. So we have the plow and we have the bull made of terracotta which indicates that both the things existed in the Harappan civilization. The models of the plow have been found at sites in Cholistan at Banavali in Haryana itself which is very near to us. Archaeologists have also found evidence of a plowed field at Kali Bangan in Rajasthan. Now what is that evidence? The evidence is that there was a field which had two set of furrows at right angles to each other. Now what are furrows? When the ploughing is done, after the plough moves ahead, it leaves behind a, a narrow line where the soil has been turned and it creates a you know, uh, depression in the soil. It is called khud in our local language in UP. And these two set of furrows were at right angles to each other. And it is assumed that it suggests that there were two different crops that were grown together. In one set of furrows, one crop was grown and the other set of furrows, another crop was grown. Archaeologists have tried to identify the tools used for harvesting. Now, did the Harappans use stone blades, set in wooden handles or did they use metal tools? The question before the archaeologists and the historians is what kind of tools were used? especially for harvesting. We know for plowing, they had the plow and the bull. But what about harvesting? Harvesting means after the crop is ready, it is cut down, that is known as harvesting. For harvesting, you need to cut it. And for cutting, what did they use? Stone blades, which were set in wooden handles, or you can say that a blade having a wooden handle for holding and cutting, or did they use metal tools? Then they are asking, the archaeologists are asking the question, did they use stone blades or did they use the metal tools? So it is not very clear that exactly what did they use. Most Harappan sites are located in semi-arid lands where irrigation was probably required for agriculture. Thus, as we see that the Harappan civilization existed mainly in the western part of India and the western part of India which included modern Pakistan or the Pakistan which is existing today. Harappa and Mohenjo-daro are located these days in what is now called Pakistan. So irrigation was probably required. Traces of canals have been found at the Harappan site of Shortugai in Afghanistan. It is in Afghanistan but the civilization that existed at that time did not realize these or did not recognize these countries or these boundaries. It was a civilization which existed in that part of the area. So Traces of canals have been found at the Harappan site of Shortugai in Afghanistan but not in Punjab or Sindh. It is possible that it is possible that canals silted up long ago. With the usage and passage of times, the canals got filled with silt, with sand, etc. It is also likely that water drawn from the wells was used for regression. And apart from canals, it is believed that the water was drawn from the wells and it was used for irrigation. Besides, water reservoirs found at Dholavira and Gujarat may have been used to store water for agriculture. Here, we have the image of the reservoir that is given at Dholavira. 